Hey guys, right here I have a 2018 Citroen C3 Aircross 1.6 Blue HDI feel. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. You can manually activate the headlights just by pressing this button. The first generation C3 Aircross comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system. The steering wheel on the fuel trim is leather wrapped with sport grips at 10 and 2 and a flat bottom design. The blue HDI 100 engine is only offered with a 5 speed manual transmission. Reverse is selected by pushing the gear lever all the way to the right and back. 6 airbags, interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, anti-skid regulation, hill start assist, lane departure warning, a tyre pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, and mobiliser, dead locking, and isofix child seat anchor points for the outer two rear seats are among the safety features on the C3 Aircross. As usual, let's turn on the hazards, lights, rear fog light, Take a look at the engine and roll down the driver's side window. With the fuel trim, buyers will get a set of 16-inch matrix machine finished alloy rims. The rims on this C3 Aircross are fitted with 19560R16 Hankook Energy 4S tyres. The brakes are ventilated discs in front and solid discs at the back. McPherson struts make up the front suspension while the rear gets a torsion beam setup. Crossover SUVs offer a blend of practicality, having a high set driving position and providing relatively good fuel economy. As the trend shifts towards buying crossover SUVs rather than MPVs, when time came to replace a C3 Picasso B-segment MPV, Citroen decided to introduce the C3 Aircross B-segment crossover SUV instead. This new model was previewed by the C Aircross concept car at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show before debuting in production form in Paris in June 2017. The C3 Aircross is built on the same PSA PF1 platform as its predecessor and it is related to the Peugeot 2008 and the Opel and Vauxhall Crossan X. The C3 Aircross nameplate, however, is not new for Citroen as they have used it before on a rugged version of the C3 Picasso MPV that has been sold exclusively in South America since 2010. Powering this C3 Aircross is the DV6, 1.6L, single overhead cam, 8 valves, turbocharged inline 4 diesel engine with common rail direct injection. It produces 98 horsepower at 3750 rpm and 254 Newton meters of torque at 1750 rpm. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 11.5 seconds, and the top speed is 175 km per hour. The fuel tank size is 45 litres, and the combined fuel consumption for the C3 Aircross Blue HDI 100 manual is 4 litres per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 104 grams per kilometre, and the C3 Aircross is a front-wheel drive vehicle. The C3 Aircross is available in Italy with 5 engines and 4 trim levels. The engines are 
1.2 pure tech 82, 1.2 pure tech 110, 1.2 pure tech 130, 1.6 blue HDI 100, and 1.6 blue HDI 120. The trim levels are Life, Feel, Shine, and Rip Curl. Exterior features of this C3 Aircross feel include automatic manual leveling halogen reflector headlights, LED daytime running lights, LED rear number plate light, rear fog light, body colored door handles, silver side mirrors, and silver roof rails. mirror controls, window controls, both the front windows are powered while the rear two windows are manually operated. Speaker, bottle holder and storage. The driver's seat in this C3 Aircross field does get full manual adjustments. This knob controls the seat back, this lever controls the seat height, while this bar down here controls the seat position. This button deactivates the lane departure warning system and the headlight level adjustment lever is right here. Alright. So let's go ahead and see how she runs. Very simple digital air conditioning controls, temperature, fan speed, different modes, air conditioning and recirculation. Below, volume and power knob, front and rear defrost, hazard lights button as shown earlier, and to the far right is the electronic central locking button. Right here, you can select the vehicle's driving modes, currently it's in normal, snow, mud, sand, ESP off and back to normal. Descent control, cup holders, storage, USB port, and a power outlet. The C3 Aircross Field comes with an integrated touch screen head unit with a 7 inch infotainment display. 
various media connectivity options, and six speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system that the C3 Aircross uses is actually quite alright. We are currently in your Bluetooth audio streaming menu with the current song playing information, the title, artist, album, song duration, you can go back the song, go for the song, play pause, options, you can bring up your audio settings with your various um, preset equalizers, bass mid treble, balance and fader, sound effects, um, voice settings, and ringtone settings. You can also activate random and repeat. You can look at the player, library, and bring up your list of media options. Radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, iPod connectivity, and USB. Now, this button brings us back to the air conditioning controls right up here Bluetooth telephone menu where you can dial a number, look at your phone book look at your call lists and whatnot right here you can view photos, read your texts and options, Wi-Fi sharing Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections below your vehicle menu with the tire pressure monitoring system, diagnostics menu, vehicle settings with the headlights, comfort, and security. Front quarter windows. Bluetooth telephone control, different mode selection button, seat track wheel, and this list button brings up your list of radio stations, say if you are in your FM AM menus. Voice control, volume controls, and this one actually goes through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, mileage and trip meter, instant fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, average speed, range, uh, this one shows you the max speed for that particular area and back to the trip meter. Wiper controls. The button at the end of the wiper stalk can go through the multi-information display as well. Light and indicator controls. And below, cruise and speed limiter controls. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Manual dimming, rear view mirror. Front reading lights and interior light. Sun visor for the driver's side, just get a vanity mirror. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour.
storage, speaker and window control. The rear seat bags in this C3 Aircross do fold down. They split 60-40 when folding. And to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then locate the levers on the sides of the outer two rear headrests. The one on this side folds down the left seat and the middle seat. Or the one on that side folds down the right seat. Just pull it and flip the seat back down. You can move the seat belt out of the way if you do not want the seat belt obstructing you. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. The seats are fairly nice and comfortable. Bottle holder and a bit of storage in the middle together with a power outlet below. Right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles and hooks. That blue tank is behind the blue cap. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate a touch pad just above the number plate. Boot space in the C3 Aircross is 410 litres with the rear seat backs upright and 1289 litres with the rear seat backs folded and the cargo cover removed. There are hooks on both sides of the boot and a light to the left. The boot floor is adjustable to enable taller items to be stored and under the actual boot floor is the vehicle's spare tyre. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. Window control, storage, bottle holder, and speaker. The front passenger seat in this C3 Aircross does get full manual adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found in, on the driver's side, 
just that this side loses out on the height adjustment. Fairly big glove box. There is additional storage right here if you do want to store more items. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2018 Citroen C3 Aircross 1.6 Blue HDI feel. Thanks for watching and goodbye.